Hey guys, this is Nod Lammers from Invoked 101, and today I wanted to take a look at my Mech Knight Invoked deck profile. This is updated with, um, I guess, the new card from the special editions. I am super excited to actually be playing this deck again. And uh, yeah, there's a couple other new cards in here, uh, a few small differences, but the big difference is uh, all right here. The monster lineup is just slightly different. So yeah, uh, we're gonna get into it, and I'm just gonna set the extra deck off to the side, set the spells off to the side, and we're gonna start with the monsters. So. Let's get right into it. So, of course, the first monster for our deck is uh, three Alistair the Invoker, just uh, our one card engine. We play him to search invocation. He's just overall just like the best card in the deck and also part of our win condition. So, uh, play three of him. Um, we also play for our Mech Knights uh, three purple because he's a wind up rabbit. He searches. Also, he's the biggest one with 2,500 attack. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and of course, all the Mech Knights special summon themselves if there's two or more cards in a column. So, yeah. Then uh, I'm also running three Mech Knight Blue Sky. We're running him because he is, uh, whenever he special summon normal or special to a column, he searches out cards uh, equal to the difference. Like, uh, so if there's two enemy cards and hit two opponent's cards in his column, you get to search two Mech Knights. Or if there's three opponent's cards in uh, the column, you get to search three Mech Knights. So, that's what he does. He just can't search himself. Uh, then I'm running two Indigo Eclipse uh, Move Man. Uh, he just moves them around uh, on the board, so he helps you. So if you draw him and another Mech Knight, you always go him and then the other one, and then it lets you get out more. Uh, and then the last two I run are uh, uh, run Red Moon and one Yellow Star. Uh, pops back row uh, by banishing. It pops a back row in its column by banishing a Mech Knight. Pops a monster in its column by banishing a Mech Knight. So uh, that's what they're here for. Uh, they, these are all the good mech knights. Uh, green and orange aren't very good. Uh, and that's it for the mech knights, actually. So set them all off to the side and be done with them. So next up is our hand traps, and that is three ash. I know a lot of players are going to be like, oh, well, three, a three ash, you know. But th this is a, a meta deck. This is my competitive deck. But three ash, three ogre... Uh, this, these are just some of the best hand traps in this format. Like you just can't afford not to play them. And three, uh, effect veiler. This is effectively infinite impermanence. This is a super rare and it's a buck. So, um, yeah. But yeah, three ash, three ogre, three veiler. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have an ash. Like maybe droll, but droll isn't at like good in this deck. So, three ash, three ogre. And that's it for the monsters. I believe it's 22 monsters. Um, but yeah, the third Ash really does help this deck. So yeah, let's talk about the spells. Uh, for our first spell, we got three Invocation. We'll start with the Invoke stuff. Three Invocation, because we do run Pot of Desires, and that does, and we just want to see this card, uh, essentially. Like, we just need to see it quick, and we need to see it um, as much as we can. So three. Three doesn't hurt the deck. I remember when people were playing two, but yeah, three doesn't hurt the deck. Two of the Field spell. And the only reason we're playing two of the Field spell is because we can't set it in our back row to help our Mech Knight engine. So that's the main reason we're not playing three. But we still play three Terraforming, one because it's at three, and two because we can set it as like a bluff or in the back row and this will help us get our Mech Knights out. So that's what that's for. Next up is the new card that I'm very excited for. Uh, and that is World Legacies Memory. I actually didn't know this card was out yet and uh, I like playing two. I really do like playing two. This does help us go first a bit um, playing two, because you don't really want to see this card after um, turn one. It can help in some situations if you're kind of falling behind in card advantage, but it's a quick play spell, and what it does is it summons a Mech Knight out of the deck um, in defense position, but you cannot special summon other cards except for Mech Knight monsters for the rest of the turn. So while that is a heavy restriction, this card is still really good, and it can help you go first, it can help you uh, start building a board. It definitely helps getting out that uh, Mech Knight Link monster, the uh, Spectrum Supreme. So yeah, this and this card's artwork is also just like super rad. But yeah, this is just an amazing card, and the supers are great. I'm glad this is a super rare. So um, glad to have this. Glad that it's uh, legal because it's a uh, Flames of Destruction card. So uh, yeah, very excited for this. This is very nice. Um, next up is we uh, we're moving into our two of. I dropped Scapegoat down to two. Uh, Scapegoat at two is just fine. It's almost as good as playing three. Um, you really don't want three. It kind of can clog, so I cut it to two uh, to with uh, along with the Mech Knight card to see how uh, it works. Uh, 
Next up, uh, two Instant Fusion still. Uh, Instant Fusion is still great in this deck because it uh, does get us Thousand Eyes and Thousand Eyes can't instantly gives us a uh, McKnight essentially. So yeah. Uh, two Pot of Desires. It says draw two. You were never going to draw those 10 cards anyways. So uh, yes, yeah, two Pot of Desires. And then for our one of, I'm running one Regeki because we this is a go second deck so this can help break boards and uh, one Monster Reborn. Uh, I was running Dark Hole but I took it out. I figured Regeki is just as good. So I am running the Regeki. I might put Dark Hole back in at some point but right now I am not. So that is it for the deck, the main deck, not the entire one, but the main deck, yes. Um, I really like, dude, this deck is so much fun. Like, I'm just gonna keep talking until I get out the extra deck. Uh, but yeah, so let's go into the extra that is uh, pretty familiar. Two Mechaba, because he negates stuff and he's easy to make in this deck. I would run three, but I only got two, so there we go. Uh, two Purgatrio, this beats over the Sky Strikers. This wins against so many decks. You put down, and with Ash running about right now, this card is really easy to do. And also with the Sky Striker stuff, this thing just runs them over. It's nuts. So yeah, uh, one Cocteus. This also helps beat Sky Striker. It's also really good against Paleo, so uh, Cocteus, because it can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. Uh, then we have one Ragin' for our Instant Fusion target. Granted, you probably you might be able to make this in some ways, but yeah. Instant Fusion target, he's a Book of Moon. Uh, let's move those out. And then our last Fusion monster is Thousand Eyes Restrict. This is an Instant Fusion target, and he just steals something. When we had Link Kribo, when I had Link Kribo, I would uh, steal something and then turn this into Link Kribo, but I don't have that anymore. But yes, that's it for the Fusion monsters, and it makes me really happy because all my Fusion monsters are secret rare, so I don't know. But yeah, uh, anyway, for our links, I'm running one Underclock Taker because he's really easy to make in this deck, and I don't go into him all that often, but he does come up. One Deco Talker, again, don't go into him all that often, but he does come up. Uh, one Nightmare Phoenix to pop back row. One Nightmare Service to pop, uh, what is it, to pop uh, monsters. One Mrs. Radiant to make off of the Scapegoat. One Link Spider to also make off of the Scapegoat. One Spectrum Supreme because he's actually like a really insane Link monster. He's really freaking good. And one uh, Saryuja, because Saryuja. So yeah, and uh, that's it for the uh, deck itself, but we do have a side deck, so let's talk about that. Um, for side deck cards, I mostly side to go uh, first, because a lot of people make me go first, but uh, I'm running two Cherries. Uh, cherries is a really good card, knocks out mirror matches, knocks out some Link monsters, definitely able to hit those Nightmares and prevent extra Links, so yeah. Um, and then I'm running a Kaiju Engine, two Gams, one Jizakiru, one Dogran, and one uh, Interrupted. This is just a small little Kaiju Engine to help against, uh, also against like Nightmares and Extra Linking. Uh, then I'm running uh, three Called by the Grave. I was, uh, I like this card. This card is pretty good against Hand Traps. It's pretty good against Gokis. Uh, so that's what that's for. And then uh, I'm running six Traps, which are uh, three Mind Crush uh, to knock stuff out of my opponent's hand and uh, three Lost Win, which effectively means I'm playing nine traps whenever I side them in. I really like Lost Win. I still think Lost Win is a great card. Uh, it's just really good. It's just a really good card. I've been, I don't know, it's just a really good trap, and if I have to pick a trap to play in this deck, I'm glad that it's Lost Win, because Lost Win is insane. But yeah, that's it for the deck. Um, I, like I said, it has changed a bit, mostly in this area, so the playstyle is a little different, but for the most part it is still the same uh, Mech Knight Invoke deck that um, I love playing. Like, I love this deck so much. It's, I love Invoked. Invoked is my favorite deck, obviously. But yeah, um, anyways, tell me, of course, in the comments below what I can do to make this deck better. Tell me your guys' thoughts on the deck, and I'll see you guys in the next video.